4 out of 20 small businesses surveyed said that they plan to start accepting digital currencies this year. So if you want to know more about this, then this video is for you. For today's video, exclusive to our Crypto Clippers, we are going to talk all about the retailers who will start accepting crypto as a form of payment by 2025. So, if you have decided to get into cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, then this might just interest you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Consumers are purchasing goods with cryptocurrency from Starbucks to Lamborghinis. Retailers are getting on board with the trend and implementing cryptocurrency payments in their stores. One quarter of retailers plan to accept cryptocurrency or stablecoin in the next two years. Cryptocurrencies are used by nearly 75% of these retailers, which is why they see the need to invest in services that integrate blockchain with their existing technologies. Deloitte pulled a sample of 2,000 senior executives from the retail industry who represent a range of subsectors including cosmetics, electronics, fashion, transportation, food, and beverage. Bitcoin is as valuable as people believe it to be, whereas stablecoins are more grounded and appreciating in worth. The commodities that these coins are tied to vary nature, but often, stablecoins use currencies such as the US dollar and gold. Despite the state of digital currencies now, many retailers are looking for the future and expect interest in digital currencies will grow. About half of them have already invested $1 million into figuring out ways to accept digital currency payments. For consumers, there is an opportunity to buy clothes, drinks, and other products with cryptocurrency. The research indicates that merchants in Singapore, the United Arab Emirates, Brazil, and Hong Kong are especially forward-thinking. They have set themselves to accept crypto payments in the coming months. However, most small businesses in the U.S. are not planning to implement automated programs on their blog posts. Only 8% of those in Canada are thinking about it. Almost all merchants pulled for the Visa Back to Business Global study said that new forms of digital payments are fundamental to their growth. This was especially true as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. In order to survive COVID-19, many small businesses had to invest more in e-commerce because it is the only channel that mattered. In the average case over the past three months, an outstanding 52% of revenue came from online channels. Cash, like the other currencies, was abandoned early on in the pandemic. Cash became an issue because there were worries that banknotes and coins could spread the virus. It is important to make the distinction that cashless refers to the use of credit cards and mobile payment methods like Apple Pay. Although cryptocurrencies also fall into this category, the Visa executive Lisa Mundy noted, Payments are no longer about simply completing a sale. It's about creating a simple and secure experience that reflects one's brand across channels and provides utility to both the business and its customer. The digital capabilities that small businesses built up during the pandemic, from contactless to e-commerce, helped them pivot and survived, and by continuing to build on this foundation, can now help them find new growth and thrive. And the statistics show that over 16% of consumers have completely cut out paper money and believe they will be digital in the next decade. 53% expect to be digital in the next 10 years, with 25% already there now. The top benefits cited by these shoppers included an easier experience, reduced sounds of being robbed, and additional convenience. 59% of Gen Z consumers said they had abandoned a purchase in a physical store because digital payments weren't accepted. This could be due to society becoming increasingly reliant on technology for convenience. In the future, businesses that don't keep up with the times might end up missing out on deals and customers. It is fair to say that cryptocurrencies are yet to become a widely accepted method of payment. A 20% variation in the value of a cryptocurrency from week to week is likely one of the reasons why crypto has not caught on widely. Nonetheless, PayPal now allows shoppers in the US and UK to use Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash for purchases at millions of merchants around the world with Visa and MasterCard embracing digital assets such as crypto debit cards currently being offered by a number of exchanges. 
Retailers will soon be accepting digital currency as payments, but they are not necessarily planning to trade in their virtual assets. Just over 50% of respondents plan to have third-party payment processors convert digital currency into fiat. This would allow merchants to offer customers the option to use a cryptocurrency for payment without actually owning the virtual currencies themselves. This strategy is less risky for retailers. By using a third party, they can invest in cryptocurrency without assuming the risk themselves. This makes it faster and easier because a retailer does not need to buy digital currency and hold onto it instead of using a third party who does this for them. Along with the mounting number of cryptocurrencies and all that they entail, making retailers' financial infrastructure compatible can be a complex process. Nearly 90% of crypto-curious retailers reported their greatest challenge is the complexity of making their infrastructure compatible with cryptocurrencies. 64% of respondents said the safety of the payment platforms was their biggest barrier to adoption. This is followed by concerns about changing regulations and the instability of digital currency. Most retailers agree that regulations should be instated regarding cryptocurrencies including national guidance around holding cryptocurrency, clarity in how cryptocurrency tax implications, and clarity of how digital currencies can be held in a bank account. Despite some worry, retailers are optimistic about the benefits of enabling payments with cryptocurrencies. Nearly half of retailers believe this move will improve customer experience and increase their customer base. We anticipate that further partnerships with regulated and established institutions in the industry will help deliver the benefits of digital currencies like convenience and support and will continue to build the necessary foundation of trust. The report concludes. It is important not to put all your eggs in one basket. An expert recommend investing only as much money as you are willing to lose. While the ability to use crypto is a step in the right direction, it's important to remember that crypto can be highly volatile. There you have our crypto clip video for today. What do you think about this new move? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like this video. If you think that we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one share is enough for you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work we all put together in creating this video that teaches us and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. And you don't know that one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you are going to watch this video, you won't see any results unless you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one.